Hello, folks and fans, and welcome to another edition of Now We're Piping with Dr. Rockwood. Uh, sorry I haven't been posting videos lately. Um, not that all two of you <laughs> may have noticed. Um, but yeah, it's been the holidays, so I've been busy. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're back. Just a quick video to show you something cool that I got for Christmas. Let's see here. Bam. There it is. Everyone's been talking about this, uh, I think it's called York Bazaar pipe rack for around 50 bucks. At least it was 50 bucks Canadian. I uh, got this for Christmas, assembled it yesterday. Everything fit great. It's honestly a great modular little pipe rack. Um, on here, you'll see pretty much the majority of the pipes that I've already covered uh, in my series on my pipe collection. Um, you know, but this this thing is it's honestly it's it's uh, fantastic, fifty bucks, and what more could you ask for? I love that it's modular. I love that uh, you can stack them, you can hang them, you can put them side by side. They're gonna look great. They're gonna be consistent, uh, and it's old school, right? So yeah. Um, by the way, of these, yeah, like I was saying, I was kind of taking you through my pipe collection, you know, a few at a time. Um, I'm pretty sure you've seen all of them up in the top rack, including, I think, maybe this Savinelli Punta Oro. I believe I did. Yes, yes, I did uh, mention this in one of my videos. Um, these three are pretty much the other three worth noting. Um, actually, I'll, let me start with the author. Uh, I was a victim to the author craze. And uh, I couldn't afford a Savinelli, uh, I think it's the 320KS, so I ended up getting the Rossi, which I believe is the 83, let's see, Rossi, Rubino, Antico, I think it's the 8320, the 8320. Anyway, um, it's fine. I think I prefer the look of it more than the feel of it. It feels great in the hand, but it's a horrible clencher. <laughs> um, so I thought, okay, you know, I'll smoke it. This will be like my my desk pipe. Like if I, you know, I'm busy working or writing, uh, I'll smoke this and just keep it in a little fold-out stand or put it in the ashtray and puff on it gingerly here and there as I'm busy typing away. Um, I have yet to get a get a cottage where I can have my own little library and everything is, you know, covered in oak and leather-bound books everywhere. Uh, so I can't really justify smoking it at my little secretary desk here, right near where the television is in our tiny little apartment. Uh, alas, I'll be patient, and I'm sure that at some point it will become a fantastic smoker. Uh, it is drilled for a 6 mil, like a lot of Savinelli's are, and a lot of Rossi's are. Um, I never used it, although I am excited to receive what I'm going to call a cottage pipe. I'll talk about that probably in my next video. Um, but my cottage pipe also takes 6 mil filters, so I'm going to try smoking my... Or where am I here? I'm going to try smoking my... Um, author shape with a filter to see what the difference is because I've never actually smoked a pipe with a filter before so I'm curious to know. Um, very quickly here's another Rossi again you know the author didn't work out for me at that point in time maybe at some point in my life I'll become an author guy or the author will become more prominent in my life but I said okay let me try a Prince and this sucker is actually really great um, there's no filter in this. It's a Rossi, um, Piccolo. Yeah, it's just the Piccolo Prince, really. Uh, great little guy. Wider bowl, which is great for Englishes. Love it. Great clencher. Uh, tremendous. And this one here, this is a Boots Choquet. Uh, Bellamy Select. Yeah. Uh, now, this pipe is tiny. It's very, very small. This is about a 15, maybe 20-minute smoker if I stretch it out. I actually 
uh, when I was living in, in the UK, when I was living in London doing my PhD, I had forgotten the pipes that I had at the time. Pretty much this one and then an old Medeco pipe that I don't have anymore. Uh, I left them back here in Canada and I wanted to smoke pipe. So I went to, uh, what's that cigar and snuff place in Covent Garden? I think it's called Lucifer's, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Um, but you know, the, the, the famous, um, tobacconist in Covent Garden, I went there and I said, give me the cheapest, good quality pipe you have. He gave me that thing and he gave me, I think, um, like a sampler of some heavily Cavendish vanilla thing. Um, you know, and it was fine. It did the trick at the time. I wasn't that huge into pipe smoking back then. Uh, not like I am now, but, uh, it was tasty enough and it did the trick. Um, you know, I still had my tin of Dunhill My Mixture 965 that I had gotten in Italy the year before, and it had surprisingly sealed back up in its tin, so the tobacco was not super dry, so I was able to smoke that as well. Uh, lastly, I've got this <laughs> pear wood, um, like a collapsible church ward in here. This was actually a gift given to me by a very good friend of mine. Um, the pipe actually smokes fine. It's surprisingly an okay smoke, you know, for something made out of pear wood, uh, with, I think it's, uh, I can't tell which side it is. Oh yes. I don't know if you can see that, but that's the at symbol. It's very, very faint, but it's in there. Anyway, um, for the longest time, this was my, well, novelty pipe and also, um, you know, my Mac Baron 7 C's pipe, if ever I was around people who did not like at all the smell of pipe tobacco, they would for sure love the smell of a very basic aromatic. Um, and I'd pull this out and it'd become this whole festival and people would be so charmed by the look of a, a church warden and this nice light aromatic that it, you know, it didn't really matter, um, anymore. So, you know, I think I've smoked it a few times. It's, uh, it's fine. So thanks very much. Um, I'm actually going to turn the camera around and in a separate video, actually, no, you know, I'll do it now. Um, so there's the wall of books. Um, and we all have a soft spot for our tins. So these are pretty much all the tobaccos that I currently have on the go right now. And they're all here, and they're all double stacked, except for the uh, capstan. But these are all, you know, there's like layers in the back on all of these. Um, what is this here? Oh, this is my Bengal slices. Uh, this is my Quiet Nights. Um, yeah, lots of tobaccos on the go. Also, <laughs> still got the Christmas tree up. That's going down this weekend. Um, yeah, I've also got these ones on the go. So some old Jimmy Flake, Squadron Leader. Um, this gem that I found at my local brick and mortar. Uh, this is from, this is actually a gift that I got from a, a dear friend of mine in London back when I, well, I still roll my own cigarettes, but Old Holborn was my brand, and this is an antique Old Holborn tin, so um, quite sentimental. Let's see here, I got some Celtic Talisman. Uh, there's the capstan, and McBaron Vanilla Flake. I just got this one. Not bad. I take it to the dog part, because um, people don't seem to mind it. Uh, also, McBaron Plum Cake. Uh, this is kind of what tins now in, in Canada to look like. I'm always on the hunt for old-fashioned tins like this. Um, I might show you what's in my cellar in another video, but basically my local B&M had a bunch of tins with the original tin art, the original designs, um, you know, and like this is, this is what it used to look like, aside from the fact that it's not painted, it's a sticker. But what they did, they put like this very bland um kind of like mud brown cover up over them and you'll see a uh, 
I think it's a squadron leader tin um, that I have in my cellar that is just, you know, the original um, tin art is covered with this disgusting brown looking sticker that just says Samuel Gala squadron leader. This one had it too, um, but I spent the better part of an afternoon slowly peeling still a little bit tacky, but slowly peeling it off so that I could get down to the original tin art. Anyway, I don't want to take up too much more of your time. Um, so there you go. Yeah, I just want to show you my new toy um, to hold all my pipes. Uh, so hope you had a wonderful holiday season with your friends and family, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.